Good luck to Crosby, too. Oh, he looks yeah, good. he's a sweetheart. <laughs> Meteorologist Dave Aguilera is covering Colorado's weather. Dave, looks like people are seeing the parade being rained on today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last day of September, and we are getting it uh, all over the state. Uh, take a look at this. This is our Vail Pass uh, camera. We showed you this, this at the top of the show, and from time to time, we see a few snow flurries going through. You can see it on the side of the road there, accumulating a little bit. Meantime, this is our library cam. You can see the rain coming out of some of those thunderstorms that are pulling out of the foothills and kind of moving to the north of the city. Haven't seen any rain downtown yet, but we may before we're done. Take a look at the uh, last few hours with Doppler 4000. You can see the showers and thunderstorms coming up from the south, moving towards Lamar here, also in the northwestern corner of the state from Grand Junction all the way up to Steamboat. Snow in the mountains as well. In fact, if we uh, get rid of the clouds there, you could really see some of the lightning strikes, hundreds of strikes across the state. So a mixture of rain, snow, and lightning together. And there you can see the Continental Divide right here. There's the snow from Rocky Mountain National Park pushing all the way down to the uh, southern sections of Aspen down there. And we've had some rain move from nor north side of Denver all the way up to Fort Collins here. Nothing really heavy duty, but a little rain. We had one little thunderstorm fire up there in northern Jefferson County. A couple of things working on our weather. A little disturbance coming out of Utah creating today's weather, but this cold front will be a major player coming tomorrow afternoon all the way into Monday. And in fact, already we have winter storm warnings in the pink and winter storm watches in the blue. We could see up to 8 to 18 inches of snow Sunday afternoon through Monday morning from the Elkhead and uh, Flat Top Mountains all the way up to the uh, Steamboat uh, Mountains up here and then 8 to 16 in Rocky Mountain National Park, Northern Grand County out here and parts of Summit County into down into Aspen and Vail could wind up with 6 to 12 inches of snow. And again, that's tomorrow afternoon into Monday with that next wave that comes through. It's not the one that's coming through right now. 72 was our high at DIA, 73 downtown. Normal is 72, so this is right about where we should be. Out there right now, it's 70 degrees. We have a south-southwest wind at 11. When the wind's out of the west, it's really hard to squeeze a lot of moisture out of it. That's why we haven't seen any rain in town yet. Check out this shot from Ron Blakicki from Boulder, Crooked Creek Reservoir, south of Sylvan Lake. What a beauty there with the reflections off the water. You can't beat that. Very, very pretty pictures coming into the U report. Uh, here at Channel 4. Now, here's our future cast for tonight. The rain out east will move on out. Overnight, we'll have another blast of moisture with some snow in the mountains, maybe uh, an inch or two in some of the mountains of Summit County. And then that'll uh, continue into the morning tomorrow. In the morning, we might be cloudy to start the day. And then watch what happens as that front gets closer. We see more and more moisture eke its way into the mountains. Afternoon storms here and more snow in the mountains. Overnight lows tonight will be in the 30s in the high country, 40s and 50s down low. And high tomorrow. Here's what we're looking at. Mostly 70s and 80s to the east, 50s and 60s out west. So my forecast tonight, passing showers and thunderstorms here will be about 48 for the overnight low. If you're going to the Bronco game tomorrow, there is a chance of thunderstorms, 10% chance during the game. So don't be surprised if you get a little wet. Then 65 with rain on Monday with that cold front coming through. We keep it cool all the way through Wednesday and then back to near 70 by the time we get to Thursday. And Dave, some breaking news, great news. We just mm -hmm. heard that the Cardinals defeated the Brewers. That means the Rockies are in the wild They're card. In. They clinched it. They clinched it. Seven Ooh, to six. Big right game. on, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there we go. Kathy's excited. I am. All right. More on that in just coming up in just a minute. Moving on. Yes. Big changes are coming to the marijuana market.